We add 15 to 16 million children to our population every year. 35%, nearly 400 million of our population are of primary and secondary school age. 41%, nearly 500 million are under the age of 19. We have done very well to cater for a large proportion of these. However, literacy and educational outcomes fall significantly below world averages and with a widening gap against the more industrialized and the emerging economies. We need to make learning and teaching fun. Ideally, children learning rather than being taught, resulting in better outcomes. Firstly, we need to have teachers to be registered to teach each age group and refresher trained to maintain their certification. This will ensure that quality of teaching is maintained. This has to be supported by a change in the curriculum and the way children are taught. Secondly, all schools should have appropriate infrastructure to help teaching and make learning fun. We need to provide students and teachers with the learning and teaching aids, tools and equipment. Communities should be held accountable for their children's performance and bringing in parental participation. The outcomes of this is reflected in the community's academic performance relative to other regions, states and across the nation. First measure is its school attendance. Secondly, published exam and test performance league tables. Thirdly, the secondary measures could be the number of students continuing in secondary and further education. It could be the number of vocational and non-vocational qualifications per annum. And finally, employment preparedness and post-educational employment rates. These are simple measures. Nearly one million people graduate annually in India. We produce one of the largest number of IT graduates in the world. And some of the leading scientists and thinkers around the world are of Indian origin. This is a sound achievement. This hides the fact that 20 to 30% of our higher education and students are not employable or are unemployed. The key to higher education is to then apply and adapt the learning in industry, commerce, research and other real world environments. We need to provide more vocational training courses, industry applicable courses. Government must work with universities, research institutes and industry to better define the outcomes, priorities that we need from science, technology, engineering and other related disciplines. And finally, we need to manage our first further educational institutions better. We must have professional, competent administrators delineating between academic competencies and administration and le leadership competencies. Four easy points. Firstly, the number of globally recognized PhDs that we've been awarded and the number of patents approved. Secondly, the number of students post-graduation uh, that are in employment and those that have completed vocational courses. Thirdly, the number of internationally recognized research papers that have been published. And fourthly and finally, the number of Nobel Prizes that Indians have been nominated for and finally the number of Nobel Prizes that we have won.